this video we're going to look to harden the remote desktop protocol service for our domain joined machines. We're going to accomplish this via group policy object. The main areas that we're going to concentrate on are network level authentication, the security layer and the encryption level. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is pull up our group policy management console. So we're going to go to tools on server manager, go down to group policy management, and here we can see our Group Policy Management console window. So just a, a real quick overview of our, our domain then. It's a very, very simple, it's just a, just a lab uh, to demonstrate uh, various different settings and, and whatnot. Um, so we've got the btslab.com here. So we've got a PCs OU, a servers OU, and a staff OU. So we're going to simply go to Group Policy Objects and create a new Group Policy. And I'm going to call it RDP security PCs click OK and we're going to edit this policy so we're going to right click edit and now we're in the group policy management editor we can have a look at the settings so under computer configuration we're going to preference uh, policies and under administrative templates down to windows components just going to expand that out and down to remote desktop services remote desktop session host and first of all, what we're going to do is just under connections we're just going to under the allow users to connect remotely by using remote desktop services it's just going to we're just going to enable that which is essentially going to switch on remote desktop services and we'll apply that and okay and then we're going to go down down, down to security and the first one we're going to look at is network level authentication, and it's this bottom one here. So we're going to double click on that one. Require user authentication for remote connections by using network level authentication. And we've got three options there, not configured, enabled and disabled, and we're just going to simply go for the enable. Blind OK. And the next one we're going to look at is security layer, which is just that one there, so double click. So here we are, require use, use of specific security layer for remote RDP connections. Again, not, not configured, enabled or disabled, and we're going to go for enabled. And then the security layer there, we're going to drop that down and select SSL TLS 1.0. Apply and OK that. And the last one there is the encryption level, so we're going to double click on that one. Set client encryption level, uh, not configured, enabled and disabled, so we're going to again select the enabled radio button there and if we just drop that down we can see client compatibility which is the default high level and low level so we're just going to select the high level there apply and OK and that's our settings complete so we can cr close down the group policy management editor and once we've made those settings or changes if it was already linked obviously they would be live so we're going to link that now through to the PCs OU so click on the PCs right click there link an existing GPO and select RDP security PCs click OK and there we go so we want to verify our settings now we've uh, put that group policy in place so as we put it under the PCs there we're just going to quickly check what machines we've got underneath there and hopefully we'll have a client so we're going to go to Active Directory users and computers and we're just going to very quickly check to see under our PCs OU there, brilliant, we've got Win71. So that computer there, as it's under the PCs OU, should have pulled down that policy. So let's head on over to Win71 and let's have a look at our settings. Okay, so now we're on o over on Win71. Um, as that was a computer configuration policy, the computer will need a restart for it to take effect. I have already restarted the machine and logged in. So let's have a look at uh, and verify our settings then. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a look at that remote desktop settings uh, section within Windows 7. So we're going to click on Start, I'm going to right click on Computer, go to Properties, and then we're going to go to Remote Settings. Excellent. Here we can see that the options for remote desktop is greyed out and the allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication more secure is highlighted. So that's perfect. I'm going to OK that and just double, just a double check. Again, we're going to go to CMD. I'm going to right click on that, run as administrator, click yes, and we're just going to do a quick GP result slash R 
slash scope computer to verify those settings. So that's GP result space slash R space slash scope computer. Excellent. And we can see there immediately that the applied group policy objects to our machine is RDP security PCs. Perfect. So as we can see there, we've taken the, the first steps there to securing the remote desktop services protocol for Windows 7. Thanks for watching.